Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joshua McDonald, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the 2024 Chevrolet Silverado RST. Now, before we get started, guys, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe down below for more content, and let's jump right into it. So first things first, we'll start off with the key. You have your lock, unlock, remote start, tailgate, and panic button on the key. This is in the slate gray metallic. Very nice paint color, as you can see. With the RST, you get the body colored front end with the black bow ties. Also have your LED headlights, all that stuff. Black tow hooks up front. This one has the 20 inch black wheels. We also do have the side steps. We also do have our remote entry where you can lock or unlock the vehicle using these buttons on the door handles. In the mirrors, we have our blind spot monitoring system. This one also does have the surround vision camera. So you can see the little camera right there with this cleaner. Pretty cool. Going towards the back, we have our four x four badge. We have our deep corner step. There's our exhaust tip coming out the right side spare tire underneath we have all of our towing hookups all of our step ups we have a button for the tailgate comes down nice and easy we do have the spray in bed liner from the factory with the Chevrolet logo you have all of your tie downs you also do have the 120 volt outlet in the back if you need to plug anything up but Here's your tow receiver. Here's all your towing light hookups. And this is to get the spare tire from underneath the vehicle using your key. You can also see the RST badges with the Chevrolet logo stamped into the tailgate. Got your easy fill gas cap. This one has the 5.3, so you can just use 87. Taking a look at the back, let's go ahead and unlock it. Here's the inside of the RST. Do have these nice accents on the side with the stainless steel and fake wood. This one does have leather seats. Really nice soft leather. You have storage behind the rear seats. In the middle, you have your cup holders. Same thing for the other side, you have the storage. Got all your phone plugins, AC vents. You also do have these nice carpeted all weather mats. Gives it a nice luxury feel. You can also pull up on the seats so they'll fold up like this for extra storage. You have your jack, you have all of your stuff you need to get the spare tire out. And you can also store stuff there, which is nice. Let's go ahead and hop up front. We'll take a look at everything on the inside. This does have the Bose audio system. Power seat. Go forward, backwards, down, up. You can also tilt it. And you have your lumbar controls. Hopping in, you do get these nice little graphics on both the screens. Got a Chevy logo on this side, Chevrolet up front. Let's go ahead and start it up. Put our foot on the brake, hit the start engine button, and she comes to life. So we'll start off with the steering wheel. You have all of your cruise control buttons. You have your forward collision gap adjust. You have a heated steering wheel, which is super nice for the cold weather. You can also upshift or downshift by using these paddles behind the wheel. You have your hands-free voice commands, calling, and you can also scroll through the menu up here by using this. So you can go up or down, left or right through all the menus. Right here we have our information, our timer, tire pressure, driver assistance, oil life, brake pad life, everything you need to know about the vehicle. We also do have our music, navigation, phone, and all of our settings. This display is fully customizable, so you can set it up how you like it. You can also see our fuel range, 
how much gas we have left, how hot the motor is, how many miles are on the vehicle, all that information in one place. These are all of our window controls. We can adjust the mirrors. And like I said before, you have the blind spot monitoring in the mirrors. This is your electronic parking brake, all of your four wheel drive controls. You also do have a couple different drive modes in the RST. So we have normal, we have sport, we have off-road and we have terrain. For terrain mode, you gotta go into four high. All that does is adjust the throttle response and gear ratios just to maximize whatever you're trying to do. You have all of your light controls, everything's fully automatic. You have a bed light, mirror lights, all that good stuff. You also do have the paddles behind the steering wheel. So on the left side, this is to scroll through your presets. And then on the right side is to turn the volume up and down. Really nice interior design on this, guys. We have tons of storage. We have cup holders. We have a wireless charger. We have all of our chargers in the center console. We have our center console divider with all of that storage space. Really nice interior. You also do have a couple of cup holders for the back seats. But these are the seats up front, guys. Fully wrapped in leather. These are super nice, super comfortable for those long rides. We also have two glove boxes. So this button opens up the top one. Sometimes when you're doing it for the first time, you need two hands to get it done. So let's try it. There we go. So fresh from the factory, let's see if we can get to do it. There we go. And we also have our second glove box. We also have a ton of buttons in one place. So I'll go over everything real quick. Like I said, that's the start button. This is the trailer brake adjuster. Um, we also do have heated seats. We can have the top and bottom portion heated or just the top portion. We have our dual climate control. We can adjust our fan speed, turn it down or up. We can also turn the AC on or off. Same thing on the passenger side, heated seats. And we have a couple of chargers right here. We also do have the electronic shifter. So the way that works is there's a button that you hold down. So if we put our foot on the brake, pull back, we're in drive, pull back again for L mode, push all the way up for neutral. And then if we go back and then up just a little bit, that'll put us in neutral. So all the way up for reverse. I think I said that wrong, not too sure. But on this vehicle, we do have the uh, surround view so you can see all the way around you. We can also see our bed behind us. We can also see our front two wheels. We have a hitch view. We have all the views you need for everything you're gonna do in your truck as well as a bed view. Now to put it back in park, we just push the P button and we are back in park, guys. On the screen, we have all of our apps. We have our audio, AM, FM, Sirius XM radio, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. We have all of our phone hookups. We have Google Maps built in. We have all of our cameras, which I just went over. We have the trailering, which you can set up different trailer profiles for all of your, all of your trailers. All of our climate control settings, Wi-Fi hotspot, tons of apps in the screen, guys. Really nice to use. You also do have different profiles that you can set up. So you can have you, your wife, whoever set up on this vehicle just so they have their preferences and radio presets and whatnot. But up here, guys, we have all of our OnStar buttons. We have a sliding rear glass window that'll open all the way up, all the way down. No sunroof in this one, but we do have tons of headspace with that divot in the top. So if you're super tall, you can definitely fit in this. Um, we also have our pilot lights, um, home link garage door openers, all that good stuff. Now that's enough of the inside. Let's take a look at the outside one last time so you guys can see how it looks. But yeah, this RST looks super sharp with a daytime running lights, black bow ties, black wheels. This is the slate gray paint, which personally is probably one of my favorites for it. But great looking truck guys. Make sure you guys comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Would you build yours differently or just take this one? Let me know. But we'll take a look at the window sticker real quick. So like I said, this is the 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 Crew Cab RST four wheel drive. Slate gray metallic with a jet black interior. 
This has the 5.3 liter Ecotec V8 with a 10 speed automatic transmission. Total price of this one is 65,245. With the 5.3, you're gonna get 15 miles per gallon city, 19 highway. And here's the whole window sticker if you guys wanna pause it and take a look at all the options. But that's it for now, guys. I appreciate you watching all the way through if you're still here. Before I end the video, make sure you guys thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe down below to see more trucks, cars, SUVs, everything. And I'll see you next time.